So we have a new update for Marvel's Avengers, which is version 1.4.2, and on top of that, we have a brand new look at a new map coming into this game, which of course is Wastelands, but how it's essentially its own region on the war table, and it is an undefined place. So we got tons of stuff to cover. As always, drop a like and leave your thoughts on this stuff in the comments below as well. Are you excited for Hawkeye's DLC? Are you not? I definitely am but before we continue into the video as well we do have a really cool sponsor which is instant gaming who do a bunch of brand new games for an unbeatable price I always use them for multiple different things one of the things actually being PlayStation Network cards as well they do all of that good stuff for a really really good price so go ahead and visit that link in the description below you'd be crazy not to use them because like I said you just save yourself a ton of money but let's dive into to this information now you'll probably see some screenshots more or less throughout the entirety of this video which is of the new location and they also showed some early concept art which again is just really really cool but the fact that this DLC is coming with a brand new map within itself is just a big win as well of course with Kate Bishop's DLC we had a new outpost etc etc but I think it's I guess a good time right now to just go ahead and drop a new map so actually before I dive into the patch notes I want to just talk a little bit about this map so it is wastelands there is I guess you can call like a an actual article regarding this uh, behind the scenes etc etc on Hawkeye's DLC which is future imperfect but that being said taking a look at the screenshots overall it definitely does look like a fun and mysterious place to be at the same time now how big is it going to be I'm not actually quite sure I mean just by taking a look at the screenshots itself I'd like to think that it's probably the same size as I mean like the daytime map that we currently have in Marvel's Avengers maybe around that size I guess density to me is more important so even if it is massive I'd rather there be more density within that map and it definitely does seem like it will be that way and of course this is definitely going to be a situation where we're going to have a boss fight so that also being uh, taken into consideration it's just going to be one hell of a map and also seeing things like the old gas station etc etc it just looks like an overall great interesting mysterious map but leave your thoughts on that in the comments below and like I said if you want to check out a full article where they go behind the scenes on that then definitely visit that link as well in the description below now diving into the new update that was released uh, a couple of hours ago now as I'm making this video it's not the update that a lot of people were expecting in the sense of update it's coming well I mean if you really want to talk about this week it's meant to be essentially a big week because we were already teased with of course Iron Man's new skin which is gonna have a cape I know there was a lot of theories on what that's gonna be but as far as skins and costumes go or cosmetics should we call them in this game go this is gonna be one hell of a marketplace update which of course goes down on Thursday now they did say that a new patch will be going live before that or around the same time so that's basically what we have here which is version 1.4 Point two. So it does change up a few different interesting things actually. Uh, you'll probably be able to see on screen if not I'll link it again in the description below. So things like Kate's Harm Room is now replayable for everyone who has already completed it. Also switch into the Taken Aim operation and then return into the Reassemble campaign no longer results in players being unable to interact with the next campaign interaction prompt. And interestingly enough, that's actually a problem that I did have myself, uh, which definitely was super annoying. Other things are improved lightning on Getz during cinematic prior to fighting him in Mask more than in Human. Actually, another thing I just want to quickly stop here and point out, because it has a lot of people, I guess, very much upset, is the fact that due to, and I'm quoting by the way, due to future refocusing efforts, players can no longer complete challenges in the harm room that require defeating a specific enemy or defeating enemies using a specific attack slash damage type. Now, for some reason, and 
I'm just maybe, I guess, the odd one out here. I've never really done it in that way anyway, so it doesn't actually affect me, but there seems to be a ton of people out there that literally follow this sort of protocol, so if that is you, how does this make you feel? Let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I'm not really too fussed with that. But another thing in the patch notes as well that were well, basically more, I guess, general bugs and glitches, fixes, whatever you want to call them again, is coming down to things like the infinite black screen if a player jumped off the platform, Platform, uh, of the first combat area and or essentially when like a final enemy was killed other things include tutorial problems as well fixed an area with missing collision and a hidden strong box that's another thing to take into consideration uh, that has been resolved and other than that I mean when you really I guess go down taking a look at like combat sections and so forth it really is your sort of general bugs and glitches but I'm gonna leave it in the description below because there's a ton of stuff there that I personally haven't experienced, there's only one of them that I did genuinely, I, I guess, was bothered with. I mean, another thing would be like Black Widow's here now displays correctly. Uh, that's always been a problem with this game when it does come down to cosmetics. I mean, a problem we had that with was with, of course, 4. Uh, so that was a big problem. Another thing is like pressure plates now activate correctly after performing combat around them. And Kate Bishop can now consistently activate pressure plates correctly. Uh, another final thing that I'll just point out that could be of interest to you guys, at least it is to me anyway, is on the last Avengers stand and finishing this mission after the first run, we'll now have a 50% chance to reward legendary Jarvis gear or an exotic hero gear. I do think that's actually a really good thing. Again, when it comes down to the hive, I know that had a lot of problems uh, that definitely annoyed people. A new resource cap as well. It does say these are new features, uh, so you'll be able to see it on screen. So again, due to the continued exploration and defending of Earth, we have increased resource caps to the following. So we got basically more or less things at 999. Uh, well, we got two upgrade modules and the Polychron, of course, DNA keys at 99 fragments just under a hundred thousand and units just under a million uh, so that's actually quite good let me know how you guys feel about that in the comments below one thing I do want to finally point out that was interesting uh, when they were talking about the concept art as well for wastelands is of a following so it says the Cree sentries were an early focus point for us when designing the wastelands and there is one sentry in the reassemble campaign and it is with a terrifying herald of what was to come in the wastelands there are lots of them i guess strewn across the landscape and these are just the ones that were defeated in the battle and some have landed on top of structures other are half basically buried in the landscape so again it just kind of, uh, I don't know, it just sounds interesting. We really have to experience it and see it in actions for ourselves. But nonetheless, it definitely is looking interesting. So leave your thoughts on all of this stuff in the comments below. And that's going to wrap up this video here. So I'll see you in the next one. Till then, have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day. And until the next one, adios amigos.